On May 31st, a small group of wine writers and wine trade were invited by Prince Robert de Luxembourg, the president of Clarence Dillon Wines and owner of Chateau Aubryon, La Mission Aubryon and Quintus. We were invited to an all-day blind tasting of mystery wines at Oswald's in London. No wine names were provided, and the only information we had was that it would be a blind tasting of four flights in the morning and four flights in the afternoon. When I arrived at Oswald's, a private club with a strong wine focus, at 8 a.m., we were finally provided some more information. There would be six wines in each flight, all from saint Emilion, and the same six wines would be tasted by vintage, starting with the 2011 vintage and ending with the 2018 vintage. The six wines tasted for each of the flights included Cheval Blanc, Ozone, Pavi, Angelus, Fijac, and Quintus. After each flight, the wines as a flight were discussed and the ratings from each participant were collected and tallied to come up with the group's average and the group's preferences. Out of the eight vintages, the favorite vintage was the 2016 vintage, followed by the 2015 and then the 2018. The worst vintage by a fairly wide margin was the 2013. I agreed with the group's assessment, and while I noted to myself that 2017 and 2011 were not on par with the top three vintages, there were some really lovely balanced wines in these vintages too. The group results had a few surprises. Fijac 2016 had the highest score among all the 48 wines tasted, beating Ozone and Cheval Blanc from the same vintage. Personally, for me, my top Fijac was not the 2016, but the 2018. I rated Fijac highly in nearly all the vintages and found it very consistent, as was Cheval Blanc. On the other hand, I was surprised at the vintage variability for Ozone. For example, with 2011 and 2013, it was not quite up to their reputation and standard. Quintus did extremely well, surprising many people in the room. Its 2015 and 2016 vintages placed among the top 10 wines of the day, with the Quintus 2016 coming in fourth among 48 wines. Overall, it was a fascinating tasting that allowed us to understand more about the different terroirs and the personalities of six great Saint-Emilion chateaus.